Hello, I'm Philip Stoughton for ID People. I'm here at Wise Media's sixth EMEA Summit in Abu Dhabi, and I'm joined by William Ahadzi um, from Ghana, from the National ID Authority. Uh, you were delayed a little, but you're with us now, which is good news. You're going to be speaking this afternoon about the uh, ID program in Ghana. Tell me a little bit about the background of that program and the stages you're at. Yes, um, Ghana has tried to introduce an ID system over the last four decades. Mm -hmm. uh, and each attempt had virtually uh, fizzled out for lack of commitment, for lack of resources. And, and therefore, we have not really achieved what we ought to have achieved by this time. But by the beginning of the, the, the last decade, there was a national economic forum, mm -hmm. and everybody came to the conclusion that it was important that a national ID system was established, which would contain um, the, the both biographic and biometric data of right. Ghanaians and non Ghanaians for purposes of planning, for purposes of service delivery, for purposes of e-services, etc. And, yeah. and therefore, uh, the authority was set up to engage in uh, implementing that program. Okay. And do you think in a country like, like uh, Ghana that it's important to have a program, a clear program, a clear strategy for that in terms of attracting investment and in terms of the growth and development of the country? Well, def definitely. It, it's it become even more of an imperative on, on account of the oil find. We're getting a lot more people coming in, different categories of more people. More attention. Coming, more attention, obviously more resources, and yeah. therefore more targeting is required. Yeah. Uh, and you need to be quite clear who, who, who can benefit from the, the outcome of your mm. fines and who should pay for services. And yeah. therefore, it's, it's extremely important to have yeah. a register of yeah. everybody who's living in the country. Well, we're, you know, we're in Abu Dhabi where oil is, is the key to their economy. Um, but it's really important to deploy that wealth properly and to deploy that wealth for the good of the um, the good of the, the citizens rather than just 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 the few. So it's really key to have that strategy. In terms of in terms of the um, identification strategy <coughs> that you're using, what stage are you in terms of that development? Yeah, we we began the exercise by first starting an enrollment process. Uh, we have ten regions. We have enrolled uh, eligible persons in, in, in seven of the ten. We are just actually moving into the remaining three regions in the next couple <coughs> of weeks. Yeah. Uh, we we have actually begun the personalization of of the cards for them as well. We've done it for. The two major regions, the capital yeah. region and, and the Ashanti region. So that's what we've done. <coughs> yeah. Then we, we are following up with deploying uh, infrastructure that will allow for real time identity authentication and also offline verification of that. Okay. Instance. Okay. And in terms of the biometrics you're using, what kind of biometrics are you? Uh, collecting for the yeah, citizens. Yeah, we're taking uh, fingerprint and, and yep. portrait. Just okay, so uh, face recognition. Face, 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 facial recognition. Yeah. Okay, excellent. Um, and um, in terms of your population, you talked about Ghanaians, but also expatriates. Do you have a lot of expatriate workers? We perhaps as a result. In, of indeed, oil? we we don't have a, a real count of that. We don't have a real count because we operate in the sub region and uh, we are governed by protocols of, mm. of free movements of people and goods in the sub-region. So people move in and out um, by virtue of being, if you like, citizens or members of the West African yeah. economic community. So at any given time, it's very difficult to determine the, the, the ratio of yeah. foreigners to Ghanaians. And, and indeed, it's on account of that that we are asking for uh, registration of yeah. all Ghanaians and non ghanaians who are permanently uh, residing. resident. Yeah, in yeah. And in terms of your your neighbours, particularly in the uh, in that in that West African group, are there neighbours that you've looked at to be good examples for um, rolling out a um, citizen program? And have they supported and assisted you? Yeah. Um, the the, the, the so our solutions provider um, were the 
same people who did it for our neighbor in Cote d'Ivoire. Okay. So we have a similar system as they do. Uh, and we are taking a couple of lessons from them because they are way ahead of us in terms of enrollment. But there are risks as well for such systems. Uh, I think their country nearly came to, to uh, a terrible crisis because mm. we used uh, biometric register for elections. So there's a lesson there for us yeah. and we've tried to avoid that. We just come out of an election um, as, as, as you'd always expect. The opposition party that did not make it would, would accuse would the, question, uh, yeah. question the, the integrity of the yeah. results. But otherwise, it's been quite. Okay. Yeah, but I think identity and is is all part of that free and fair election thing that drive towards democracy. Uh, democracy that will underpin more investment into countries like Ghana and yeah. that eventual eventual development. I think it's you're it's actually a, a really exciting time to be. African at the moment yeah. because I think the next 10 years are going to be really, really telling and really exciting. Yeah, I think so too. William, thank you for joining me. Thank you for chatting. Good luck with your presentation. I hope it goes well and I hope we can speak again soon. Thank you. Thank you.